Right, good morning everybody. I'm doing a video of the path in Pontiets and this is on the, well, I say the Carway side. Uh, the road goes up to Carway up there, well you can't see it because you've got another path on uh, on the other side that goes to Polendry. But to me this is a better path because it's got a better view and I'm doing this in English because even though I'm Welsh, Welsh is my main language, but I'm doing it in English because I got a lot of English friends on Facebook. I'll be putting this on YouTube and then putting it on Facebook. And also there's a lot of English people now living in Pontiets who are looking out for walks here. But sadly this path now is falling apart. You can see there was a placard here showing details of the canal. Now, if you can just, if I can just film it on the side here, you can see a canal there, right? It's, it's very small now because it's gone down over the years. But it, they used to travel, uh, well, they had boats then taking the coal on this canal all the way from Kumawa, all the way down to Kidwili. And there was a photo of this canal and the men on it on this placard. But as you can see you now, the placard is falling apart. And so is the path. Because the council spent a quarter of a million pounds doing this path 20 years ago. And uh, it goes all the way to Kidwili. And we even had uh, the Scarlets players coming down here with their push bikes, coming through Pontiac and going to Kidwili. And Gareth Jenkins was coaching him then. And I know Gareth well, I used to have a chat with him. But you no, no longer see them now because this path has gone so bad. Because we got floods here. When the council did this path, you see, they never took into account the fact that we got floods here. Now it's pretty good today because it hasn't been raining much, but when it rains a lot, the water washes away this path, you see, and uh, it, it's really gone in a bad way. And it doesn't go, well, it still goes to Kidwili, really, but there's mud all the way now. Uh, sadly, the council, even though they spent a quarter of a million pounds on this path, they have not been maintaining it. They've left it go. And this is sad. And we've got a lovely view here as well. Although you don't see, you know, the lapwings, curlews, snipes, skylarks, and the wild ducks. When I was young in the 50s and 60s, showing my age now, because I'm 70 this year, 2019, and I used to come down here when I was young and there were so many wild birds here flying about. Now you hardly see them. Although you do get the odd one. and. There was a few lapwings there the other day. Of course I got heart trouble now and I pushed myself to go for walks along this path and I've done now about a quarter of a mile and I'm feeling very tired now, weak, but I feel relaxed. You see the trouble is when I walk, I love my walks along here, right? I've got to remember I've got to walk back and I've got this far now so I better make my way back but I'll film this first because uh, I want to, if I can, get the council to do something about this path. Now my walking stick is there. I'll leave it there now while I film and uh, you can see Pontiac's over there now. It's a beautiful walk. Let's get hold of my walking stick. I can't go far without this. Right. It's a beautiful walk and sadly not many people walk it because they don't know about it. Right. Yeah, I'm really getting tired now, but I'll go home now and I'll lay down for about an hour. Or two, I don't know, it all depends. But I got have my walks, you see. Here we are, look. Beautiful view, yeah. Yeah, I live on my own. I, I come down to the village, have a chat with whoever I see. And uh, and then I uh, take my walk along this path or the other side, or sometimes on the road. 
And uh, I go back and have a lay down. Let's put my stick down there for a minute while I finish filming now. I'll put this on YouTube when I get back, okay?